The person will not know if he has diabetes or not without relying on the blood sugar levels. Knowing the information about this important indicator will help you proactively control your health, what is a normal blood sugar index, and what alarms you have had diabetes. Medical experts said that, depending on age, disease status, degree of complications, that each person has a different diabetes blood sugar index. What is a normal glycemic index, certainly not everyone knows. Nowadays, the rate of people with diabetes tends to increase in younger. Regular blood glucose monitoring is crucial for the prevention and treatment of diabetes. What is a normal blood sugar levels glycemic index? What is a blood sugar level? Blood sugar or blood glucose is the body's main source of energy and is also an extremely important fuel source and necessary for special organs such as the nervous system and brain organization. The blood glucose level glycemic index GI is defined as a value indicating the concentration of glucose in the blood, usually measured in units of mmol L or milligram per deciliter. The concentration of glucose in the blood usually changes from day to day, even every minute, especially in relation to the daily living diet. There is always a certain amount of sugar in the blood, if the blood glucose level is frequently high, it will lead to diabetes and complications affecting many organs, especially the kidneys, blood vessels. The glycemic index is classified into four categories, random blood sugar, fasting blood glucose, one hour after meals and two hours after eating, and the glycemic index is expressed by the HbA1c index. The glycemic index significant helps determine the concentration of glucose in the blood of the person at the time of the survey. Therefrom, we can determine whether the patient is normal, pre-diabetes or having diabetes. What is normal blood glucose for healthy people? The safe blood glucose index for normal people is as follows, random blood sugar, less than 140 mg per deciliter 7.8 mmol L, fasting blood sugar, less than 100 mg per deciliter less than 5.6 mmol L, after meals, less than 140 mg per deciliter 7.8 mmol L, HbA1c, less than 5.7%. Fasting blood sugar, the fasting glycemic index was first measured in the morning of fasting for at least 8 hours so that you have not eaten or drank any food. The fasting glycemic index is between 70 mg per deciliter, 3.9 mmol L, and 92 mg per deciliter, 5.0 mmol L, are normal. According to studies, health experts have found that people with high fasting blood sugar in the upper range have no risk of developing diabetes within the next 10 years or longer. Postprandial blood glucose, the postprandial glycemic index of a normal healthy person is below 140 mg per deciliter, 7.8 mmol, L, measured within 1 to 2 hours after eating. Blood sugar at bedtime, normal GI before bedtime will range from 110 to 150 mg per deciliter, equivalent to 6.0 to 8.3 mmol, L. Hemoglobin A1c, HbA1c, test and HbA1c below 48 mmol per mole is normal. HbA1c is commonly used to diagnose diabetes. What is normal blood sugar in pregnant women? For pregnant women with an abnormal glycemic index, it is slightly lower than the above information. Normal blood sugar levels for pregnant women are lower than for non-pregnant women. Besides, changes in sex hormone levels also contribute to blood sugar levels. In case of pregnancy with a risk of hyperglycemia, a doctor should be examined at the time of week 24 pregnancy. The following are normal glycemic index levels in pregnant women as follows. Fasting is less than or equal to 92 mg per deciliter 5.1 mmol L, 1 hour after meals is less than or equal to 180 mg per deciliter 10 mmol L, after 2 hours, is less than or equal to 153 mg per deciliter 8.5 mmol L. Gestational diabetes is diagnosed if there are two results equal to or greater than the upper limit. What is a normal blood glucose level for diabetics? In fact, it is difficult to have a safe threshold for blood sugar values generally for diabetics because each individual patient will have its own goal. 
However, the American Diabetes Association agreed, the threshold value of safe blood glucose when hungry that patients should achieve as follows. People with diabetes under 59 years old and have no complications. 4.4 to 6.7 mmol l 80 to 120 mg per deciliter, patients over 60 years old or have complications. 5.6 to 10 mmol l 100 to 180 mg per deciliter, the HbA1c index should be below 7%. How to maintain a stable glycemic index? To maintain healthy, stable blood glucose levels, apply a healthy diet, exercise and maintain a healthy lifestyle to maintain a more stable blood glucose level. There are eight things you should follow to stabilize blood sugar. Supplement with bright green and red foods. Anthocyanins found in bright green and red foods like grapes, strawberries, cherry and berries help in better blood sugar control. Do not skip breakfast. If you regularly skip breakfast, you will be more likely to develop type 2 diabetes. Breakfast helps to stabilize blood sugar levels throughout the day. A healthy combination of protein, starches and fats plus fruits or nuts will help you maintain a healthy blood sugar level. Exercise. You should exercise regularly, at least 30 minutes a day, 5 days per week. Check your blood glucose, blood pressure, heart condition before exercising. Sweating during exercise helps you prevent the risk of diabetes. After an exercise session, your muscles work and blood glucose levels are lost. As you maintain a consistent exercise regimen over time, the cells become more sensitive to insulin. Follow a reasonable diet, balance ingredients, the recommended daily nutritional components are glucid 50-60%, protid 15-20%, lipid 20-30% of total calories for the day. Especially not to skip breakfast because breakfast helps to stabilize blood sugar throughout the day. A healthy combination of protein, starches and fats plus fruits or nuts will help you maintain a steady blood sugar level. Sprinkle more cinnamon into dishes. Adding a little cinnamon to dishes such as breakfast porridge, toast or fat-free cheese milk. Cinnamon both helps insulin work effectively while stimulating the body to release more enzymes to burn glucose. Eating grapefruit every day. A research result shows that eating grapefruit every day will help you limit changes insulin and glucose levels after each meal. Drink milk. Even if you are overweight, dairy products significantly reduce the risk of insulin resistance, as the proteins and enzymes in milk slow the conversion of food sugar into blood sugar. Drinking milk every day can reduce the risk of insulin resistance by up to 20%. Drink green tea regularly, research shows that green tea helps control blood glucose. A study found that after drinking 6 cups of tea a day, maintained for 8 weeks, patients with high blood sugar levels decreased 15-20% compared to before.